In this video, we're focusing upon another one of your Love Spoon designs. As I speak to you today, we remain in lockdown. But the workshop continues to be busy. Now we're closed in terms of having visitors in, but we're still busy online and we're also busy with our competition. And today's video is to bring you a little update and to bring you a design and a love spoon that was sent to us. Now last week we looked at Gavin's design, beautiful design, beautiful work, and Gavin is a, is a fellow Love Spoon maker, and we shared with you what he was doing. Again, head over to that video if you're interested. But today, it's a little bit different again because we're bringing you a design sent to us by Liang. And it was sent to us to give to somebody else. So she didn't just send the design, she actually sent us the ideas behind it and the reasoning behind it. So what we're gonna do, same as we did with Gavin, afterwards we're gonna go into a time lapse, but initially we're gonna to explain to you the stories, the thought behind this designs, and also how I had to adapt it to make it practical in wood and to work in a love spoon design. We're gonna share with you that one there. That is Leanne's design, and that, is basically the basis for the design. So what have we got in there? Um, we've got the, 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 the cow or bull's head, whichever, whichever one it is, inside the heart. We've then got the rainbow, a thank you across the cloud below, and then a twist on the stem. The ideas behind this, it was thinking in her dad. He is involved in the farming industry, who of course are important, not just in this moment, but always in providing us with uh, the food we need. So that was the idea then. He's been involved in dairy farming, so hence the cow at the top there. We've got the rainbow, a symbol that's being used at the moment, but of course a rainbow is always delivered, always being used as a promise and a message of hope, that sort of thing. We've then got a thank you and a twist on the stem. That's a traditional love spoon symbol and that represents binding and growing together. Now, the circumstance with this one here, Leanne found herself in a situation where she's away from her family. A circumstance very close to my own heart because my wife being from Barcelona, uh, she currently, you know, doesn't know when she's going to be able to see her family again. And so she wanted to send this love spoon to her dad. And you've got a little thank you there for the work that he continues to do on the behalf of everyone. Um, and that's what she wanted to say was, was thank you to, to her dad. But also, you know, a little bit in terms of we're missing not being able to see people. And so it was an idea and a concept that we really thought was relevant to a lot of us. But let's also now focus on what we've had to do in terms of adapting it. So what I did, I decided that I liked the ideas and that I liked the concept, but we've as always, when we get sent designs and things like that, we've got to give it our own interpretation, but also we need to make it practical in the, in the wood that we're going to make it from. So this is my revised design. So we've started off with Leanne's design, like so, and I've adapted it to there. So let's have a look at what I've changed, and I'm going to explain to you why. And so for any of you who are working in wood, any of you making love spoons, hopefully this might give you some ideas for 
how we we have to work and how we have to think when we're working in woods. Now, the first thing I noticed on the Anne's original, the point of the heart comes quite narrow into the um, the rainbow. So that, if I left it as it was, there's a weakness there. So what we did, we eliminated that by using this twist that she'd already drawn and to bring that right around the rainbow and the clouds. So what that does, that gives the design a better flow because it's all sort of working off that heart, but it gives it a lot more strength. Uh, other than that, we've done a little bit of work just to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Uh, but what I tried to do is to stay as honest and truthful to that original design. So that is basically what you have to think of. That's what you have to do when you're working in wood. You have to make sure that the design has strength. And also, if you can make it symmetrical, that adds to the appeal. It looks nice to the eye. You try then to get light and shade into the design. It's not essential, but again, it looks aesthetically pleasing. And we're trying to get a nice flow to the design. Don't want too much at the top. Don't want too much in the middle. Try and get some sort of flow to the design where it all fits together nicely. So as I said, what we're going to do, we're going to go across into a time lapse and we're going to show you how we hand carved the love spoon for Leanne's dad. There you have it. That is our finished love spoon. Uh, just to say a quick thank you to Leanne for sending that design in to us. Hopefully your dad will be pleased with that one there. It was a pleasure to be able to make it for you. And it was a, a lovely design that we felt was really relevant at the moment. If anybody else would like to send a design into our competition, feel free to. And if you're lucky enough to win, we will do a little video showing your work that you've shared with us. Thank you all again for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to put a little like. If you're new here and you like what we do, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you again for watching.